hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make korean fried chicken to get started here i have my chicken wings that i went ahead and washed really well in some vinegar i have here some seasoned salt black pepper some soy sauce one egg i have garlic powder onion powder let's get started so what you want to do is add all these ingredients to the chicken mix the combine and we will set aside to marinate for about two hours. Next, we'll make a sauce for this chicken using a few simple ingredients. Here I have grated ginger and garlic. I have tomato ketchup. I have some soy sauce, honey, some rice vinegar, and some Korean chili paste. Here in my preheated skillet, I have vegetable oil and sesame oil. I will now add my ginger and garlic and I will allow them to go for about two minutes. After about two minutes, this smells amazing. And now we will add the rest of our ingredients. We will mix them all really well and let them come up to a slight boil or simmer. Once the sauce comes up to a simmer, we will now turn the heat off and we'll set this aside. So here I have two simple ingredients that I'll be using to coat the chicken wings. Here I have some potato starch. It's very light and it helps to keep the wings nice and crispy. I also have here some self-rising flour that I'll be adding and I will not be seasoning this mixture because I want the sauce to be the star of the show. I want the sauce to shine, so I will not be seasoning this. We will coat the wings in the plain mixture. Now we'll go ahead and generously coat our wings in the mixture. We will coat them really well, then we'll place them on a rack and we will let them sit for about 10 minutes before we start frying. So I've been preheating my oil up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I'll place my wings in here and we'll let them fry for about three to four minutes. Then we'll remove them. We will be double frying the chicken today, guys. If you're not double frying the chicken, then it's not Korean chicken. Korean chicken is always double fried. So we'll be double frying them. We'll let them fry for three to four minutes. We'll remove them and we will continue the process till we're done then we will start refrying the chicken in the same order that we did before after about four minutes this is how the chicken should be looking you don't want them to be golden brown right now at the second fry then we'll allow them to become golden brown we will remove them and continue with the other batch and once we're done we will start again from the first batch Now we'll place the chicken for a second fry, but before you do that, make sure that you allow the oil to come up back to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You want the oil super hot, so make sure that it comes back up to temperature. 
So after about seven minutes, your chicken should be looking like this. But if you want your chicken a little bit more dark, you can leave it longer. This is perfect for me, so I will now remove them and carry on with the same process until I am all done. Once the chicken is done frying, this is how they'll be looking. And the white stuff you see there, that's the potato starch, but it's no problem. We will now go ahead and coat our wings. So I find that when I brush the sauce onto the wings, as opposed of tossing them in the sauce, they stay crispier for a longer period of time. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be just brushing the wings with this sauce instead of tossing them. But if you, you know, want to make this more quick, you can just go ahead and toss the wings in the sauce and that's it. You'll be all done and your wings will be tasting amazing. And lastly, we will just sprinkle some sesame seeds over top of our chicken. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this. But, you know, we'll sprinkle that and this is it. We're all done. So usually, Korean fried chicken will be paired with some pickled radish. So I have some pickled radish here. And this is my version of the Korean fried chicken. I do hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be leaving all the ingredients and measurements down in my description box, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!